No redeeming qualities, violent and despicable. That's how prosecutors described Boston mobster James Whitey Bulger, caught and tried after 16 years on the run. His victims and their family members had their own words. The statement I said in there fits. He's a coward. And uh, it did feel good to describe him for what he is, a uh, bag of jailhouse rags waiting to be placed on uh, cold steel. And I hope he enjoys every day of his retirement there. For decades, Bulger and his Winter Hill gang ran a major criminal network in Boston, trafficking drugs, extorting businessmen and bookmakers, bribing police officers. In August, after an eight-week trial, he was found guilty of 31 charges, including taking part in 11 murders. During his sentencing hearing, Bulger stared at the table in front of him. It was one of the most powerful presentations I've ever seen in the courtroom. Uh, to listen to those folks come forward and say how this case or this person affected them. And I don't think uh, James Bulger was immune to that emotion. His victims included innocent bystanders who happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time, like Michael Donahue. And there's never really closure, but at least you can put it behind you. You know, I, feel, I do feel good today. The judge considered the statements of victims' family members in court before handing down the sentence that will keep the 84-year-old behind bars for the rest of his life. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera.